Josh, thanks for um, thanks for hanging out with me. It's nice to be in the, the heart of football in the West at, at Whit Noble. But what, what was it like as a kid, um, kid from Seymour? Were you, a, were you a footy mad kid? Yeah, I was always into footy. Um, yeah, I was always striving to obviously get to play an AFL one day. And yeah, uh, yeah I loved, loved every, every second of it. When a lot of kids get drafted, um, you talk to them about it and it's almost like life picks up pace instantly so your name gets read out I imagine that would be kind of magnified um, being pick number two in the in the national draft can you describe what that was like I guess the position I was in I was I was lucky I sort of knew where I was going to go uh, maybe a little bit before the draft so yeah. um, it's a bit of formality to yeah it. that's right so I guess it wasn't as big of a shock um, that I was moving into state um, straight away as soon as my name was called out compared to some of the other kids. But yeah, um, yeah once it did happen, everything moved pretty quickly. So there's there's knowing you're going to move into state yeah. and preparing yourself for that. And you know, you're a mature young bloke, yeah. um, seemingly to me anyway. But what, what was it like actually sort of uprooting your life and, yeah. and going yeah. up to Brisbane. Yeah, that's right. I suppose I was always had, had an open mind and I wanted everything to work out the way um, I had planned, but obviously things change. Um, I suppose in my second year, I, I realised that I did did miss my family and yeah. my close mates back home. And um, I knew that, you know, I, you only lived this life once. And yeah. um, I guess I wanted to have that time with my family and with my mates yeah. and um, felt like I gave everything that I could have given, so um, yeah. unfortunately it didn't work out. Pretty wild 2017 for you, where you, you signed the contract extension midway through the year, and then uh, and then by the end of the year, you've, you, you're on your way to the Bulldogs. When, when did you sort of get a sense that there was a bit of interest from, from the Bulldogs? Yeah, I guess um, signing that contract, I was, I was pretty eager to, to stay out there and for things to work, and um, there was a bit of heavy um, scrutiny with, with the media of me coming back home and yeah. obviously wanted to get that out of the way and see how I coped without all of that and um, I guess I realised that I did really want to come home and yeah. um, I was lucky enough that yeah Bulldogs were, um, were keen on, on me coming down and to play with the Bulldogs was um, really appealing to me as well so yeah very happy it worked out. Pretty. Um pretty intense time to, to, to change clubs, particularly you know at such a young age, but you had the added drama of yeah. the paperwork. Yeah. It was like, was there, so the story goes, like 30 seconds to go and then, yeah. and then the trade went through. Is that, is that been embellished a little or is that how it went down? Yeah, I think it was pretty close. I think um, Brisbane Bulldogs were other side of the stadium because of the uh, alphabetical order of the clubs and um, so I took a bit of running for my manager to get back and forth. So and because <laughs> of the alphabet of B and W we almost missed out. How aware were you of that happening at the time? It's like the bomb, like the, the bomb clock going off? Yeah. Red yeah. wire, blue wire? Or yeah. Was... yeah, it was pretty close. I, was, I, remember, I remember it pretty, pretty vividly. I'm um, sitting on the couch with, with my family and yeah, ended up getting a text from a manager and um, saying that things went through, so yeah, I was ecstatic at the time. Well, for a young man making his way in league footy, you've covered a lot of ground already from Seymour to the draft to Brisbane, back to Footscray. Um, I think we'll just let you settle for a little while and let you plonk yourself in that forward 50 and, and keep showing us those skills that you're blessed with because we're, we're loving watching you play and we're loving watching what the boys are doing this year. Yeah, thank you. No, I'm very excited for what lies ahead.